everybody so i am carrie and i decided to do a video about internship in my opinion what a good internship looks like so i asked a question earlier this week on instagram and some of you were in my dms and i noticed that you have been on internships but they are not good or fulfilling internship so i wanted to tell you about my experience with a very good internship site and I think the experience is worth sharing and what happened there is what should happen okay guys so let's not focus on my sweating and let's not focus on my slow talking so I entered this agency through UE the program that I did you are required to do three years of internship and this site that I will tell you about this is my third year practical that is what we call it in our faculty or our department. Why I decided to share this experience is because this company with the experience that I got and the type of mentorship that I got, it literally helped to build me professionally. Again, so much growth um, and it taught me what I wanted to do. So this is the internship site that allowed me to literally fall in love with community development and corporate social responsibility and planning events and all those nice things. It made me know that this is what I wanted to do. I'm saying that first and foremost that that is what you should get out of such employment. An internship employment you should be fulfilled when you're finished and you should see growth in yourself in all aspects so that is why I thought this experience was worth sharing three major green flags that I want you guys to focus on when you're at an internship when you're considering an internship when you get to the internship and when you have completed the internship the first green flag I will focus on and the first sign that it's a good internship is that you do actual work. When I was at this place, um, I did everything social work for a majority of the time. 90% of the time I'm doing actual work. I'm planning a workshop, I'm doing a focus group, I'm counseling a student, I'm doing a treatment plan. I was actually doing work. I was doing what is it the company is supposed to do. The company that I was that I was at, they do corporate social responsibility and they work with the communities downtown and I was literally working with the communities downtown in the communities in the schools downtown, in the homework centers downtown, in the STEM centers downtown, I was literally doing it all. I was working with the community groups, I was doing everything. So to sure sign that it's a good internship, you should be actually doing work. A red flag to know that it is not a good internship are this need to pack up, this now work out. You're not doing anything related to what you're there for, especially tertiary students. If you're in marketing and you're there and they just want you to do filing, 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 and you go tomorrow, you file somewhere, you file somewhere, and when you're done, it is three months of filing and that is what it says on your resume then that is just not working out. You need actual work experience. Green flag number two is something that I didn't expect and something that persons should look out for because we don't focus on that once we're in the workplace as a student. The workplace should not only give you work, um, work experience but also workplace experience. While I was at this place, I noticed that if conflicts came up, they treated us like employees. So they allowed us to work through it. How are you going to work together after this going forward? How do you plan to work on this? Can you work with that person? Would you be able to work in this group going forward? They helped to build me professionally and not just to build on the skill and allow me to apply the theory that the university gave. They allow me to function in the workplace 
they were building an employee so if a company doesn't try to build you in such a way then it starts off a red flag companies tend to treat interns like children like oh they're having a problem let's leave them alone i don't believe that should be it they should train them how to deal with these problems because most of times most of the times you're going into the workplace and these same problems will come up you will have group dynamics different personalities will mix and people can't work together so it is so important for them to teach you how to function in the workplace the third green flag is you should have access to a mentor, to a supervisor, some that, someone that will lead you, someone that you can go for for information to help you to make a task better. While I was doing my internship at this very good site, very good in, um, organization, I had access to my supervisor. I was assigned someone, the general manager. You hear general manager, you think, okay, they won't have any time for you. I had full access to this person. If I needed her for anything, one knock on her door, one phone call, one email, she would help in whatever way she can. You did a proposal and you wanted to be corrected, she will give you the corrections and tell you how you can make it better next thing she had weekly evaluation sessions with us so whatever you did during the week however you mess up however you want to fix it they debunk it once the week ends so a good internship need to give you someone to have access to because it's a learning process and you don't know it all you're going in there to learn so a good internship will give you someone that you can actually learn from someone you can lean on someone to go to once you reach the point where you can't do it so guys that is my experience with a internship and going into a workplace and a lot of you have been in the workplace and it haven't been very well i hope this information helps and it will give you a new eye to look out in the workplace for these little things and it will allow you to ask questions or in some way try to get some growth from these organizations so i really hope this information helped and I would love if everybody who had good experiences could also comment down below <laughs> so like a youtuber um, could comment and tell your good experience or tell us your bad experience and we can debunk it so until next time bye